Good morning, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? So I want to start off today. I want to talk about the Trump budget, which just came out, uh, details out yesterday. All right. Um, geez, I don't know. Uh, there are many words I could use for this budget. Uh, scary, outrageous, crazy, laughable, catastrophic. Uh, you could use just about any one of the ones I just mentioned right there, including many others. But uh, so the plan of this budget is to reduce federal spending by three point six trillion over the next 10 years. That's three hundred sixty billion a year starting from day one reduction in federal spending, which uh, three hundred sixty billion right now. That's uh, roughly about two percent of GDP lopped off, chopped off of the economy and by the way that's not including any multipliers which which any economist would tell you uh, that um, there's like a two or three multiplier in other words when the government cuts back uh, that reduces incomes to people they lose jobs and therefore they stop spending and when they stop spending uh, that results in lower business sales and profits and companies lay people off and then those people stop spending and so you get a multiplier effect I won't even get into that part let's just go with the two percent reduction over 10 years compounded all right well the economy we know grew at 0.7 percent in the first quarter you know on an annualized basis so right there it would immediately throw the economy into a contraction a recession of 1.3 percent immediately uh but then you know you start doing that for the next 10 years you start chopping off two percent compounded you're looking at you know 20 30 maybe a 40 percent contraction in the united states economy i mean i don't know who came up with this plan uh but you know a, a bunch of geniuses and of obviously i'm being very sarcastic here because the plan is a recipe for an economic depression there is no question about it now, if this is supposedly going to be offset with, let's say, $3.6 trillion in cuts, but $5 trillion in tax reductions, the only way you can do that, the only way you can do that uh, is by massively cutting payroll taxes, which would be a great thing, don't get me wrong, but they're never going to do that because they all think that payroll taxes fund Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and other entitlements, right? They, they, they have the complete wrong understanding of that. Uh, so they're never going to be able to cut taxes to offset this amount of spending cuts. Now, this plan, this budget plan is, is DOA, dead on arrival when it gets to the Senate or to Congress. But the point is, I think it puts into uh, mom some momentum here towards a significant amount of spending reduction you know they're not going to get 3.6 trillion but you know once it is stated and once it is put out there as a determined policy you're going to get just like this uh trump care all right which is cutting back on um covering pre-existing conditions once it's put out there and yeah, the initial reaction is going to be, no, this is never going to happen. But then you start to get people who are going to coalesce around the idea and you may not get $3.6 trillion. But look, if the economy is only growing at 0.7%, a $20 billion, never mind a $360 billion reduction in spending, a $20 billion puts us at zero growth. All right. So, I mean, you're going to get that. Believe me, they're going to get that. So this is a disaster in the making. Uh, me, personally, I'll make a lot of money. My followers will make a lot of money. We'll absolutely know how to take advantage of this from a trading or an investing standpoint. That's not a problem, all right? The problem is it's going to create, you know, this will turn the United States into Greece. This will turn the United States into Greece in terms of the, uh, you know, the misery, uh, the skyrocketing unemployment, the collapse in output, the wealth concentration, if you think it's bad now, it's going to go to levels unseen, uh, unheard of levels, I'm telling you right now. So uh, there you go, folks. That's the Trump budget that's been put out there. Okay, we got up until the end of September to, uh, to see what Congress uh, actually truly hammers out. But 
I believe that puts into motion a mindset which will deliver very, very large, big, big spending cuts, and uh, that is going to be a disaster for the economy. You just, you know, what we need right now, what we need right now is a major ramping up of federal spending because we got to, you know, you got to fix the infrastructure, you got to pay for health care, you got to take care of education, you got to look into alternative energy, you got to do basic science and research. All the things that I've been talking about, uh, which creates the, the real and vital capital uh, that we need for current generations, future generations, that's what has to be done, not cuts. Cuts cannot do it. So uh, that's what we're looking at. It's going to be very, very interesting. Myself, I am totally prepared. Now, on that note, and I, I spoke to you guys about this last week, all of my four expositions from the last month, which I told you, you know, we had a, I had that big swing. They were underwater. Didn't take prudent losses like a lot of you stop losers think that the way to success is to lose, <laughs> which I love because your losses flow to me. Uh, closed out everything at, at a profit, a very nice profit. So once again, cha-ching, not a single loss, everything at a profit. Told you about a student of mine yesterday, and by the way, I have to correct that. He's making 1600 a month on a 25000 account. Never traded Forex in his life making all kinds of mistakes, but guess what? No losses, all kinds of mental game mistakes, but I'm putting them on the right track. So there you have it, folks. More success. That's all you get out of here. Trading is 100% mental. We follow MMT. We know what the effects of policy are. Simple as that. Bye, everybody.